Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to talk to you all about what I think is going on with Fortnite right now. The gameplay is going to be just a random game. It's probably going to be reused gameplay because I literally can't play the game right now because of the fact that this event is taking place or whatever. So if you didn't see the event, essentially they sent the meteor through a rift. It broke the zero point, which was the thing at Loot Lake. And then it exploded, which caused everything to be sucked into a black hole, I guess. And this has basically been the screen of Fortnite for several hours since that explosion. So lots of players don't know what's going on. We just have this black screen of a black hole. And there were numbers popping up periodically every now and then. And someone figured out, I actually don't know who figured this out. I just saw it on Twitter. When you match the numbers to the number of the words from the visitors log, so like say number 15, you take that number and match it to the 15th word in the visitors audio log. If you do that with all of the numbers, you get this statement. I was not alone. Others are outside the loop. This was not calculated. The nothing is now inevitable. So this is basically the nothing. We're in this black hole and nothing is taking place. And lots of players are asking themselves, what's happening is with Fortnite? What is going on? Like, when is this going to be playable? Why is this happening? All of those sorts of questions are what players are asking themselves while looking at this nothing. So basically with this event, they're trying to just draw a lot of hype and a lot of publicity by acting like Fortnite is over, Fortnite is ending, whatever. That's basically it. They, they want to have this screen be here for a long period of time to just draw up a lot of buzz, draw up a lot of hype, draw up a lot of discussion. People talking about if Fortnite's dead, if Fortnite's gone, what, what, just basically what is going on with Fortnite. They're going to get a lot of publicity from sources that they normally wouldn't get a lot of publicity from. And they're actually growing a lot because of this. Their Twitter account gained over 300,000 followers today, and they have 9 million total. So 300,000 is a pretty decent chunk of that to gain in one day. And you would think Fortnite is at a point where it's not growing anymore, but I that's what I thought personally was that it had gotten as big as it was going to get. And anybody who would have wanted to try Fortnite would have already heard about it. But I guess there are still a lot of players out there who hadn't considered playing Fortnite or this event drew them in somehow. I think this event could also draw the attention of a lot of old players who used to play the game that maybe left. And we'll get into that in a moment and why that's very important. So this is the event. The event happened. We have this black screen. It's rumored that this might go on until Tuesday because of this leak from Yoshi. His Twitter will be linked down in the description below. But he found this in the code. And it basically says that the event is running from the 13th, which was today, until the 15th, which is Tuesday. People are saying the event that this screen will be here until Tuesday at 6 a.m. And then the game will be playable after that. So that's a long time for the game to be down. That's a long time for players to be discussing what's going on and it, what's going to happen with Fortnite. And then what you, what's going to happen? We're going to get a new map, potentially, maybe new weapons, new vehicles, new mechanics. A lot of things that are going to be appealing to new players, old players, and maybe players who even quit the game. They're all going to be drawn in by this excitement of the or the mystery of the event, I guess you could say. See all these new things, want to play the game, and then what's waiting for them? We have skill-based matchmaking now. We have bot lobbies. Apparently, there's a training mode coming in Season 11 that was leaked a bit ago. There's all these things to make the game more appealing to new players or returning players that is hopefully going to help them stick with the game and enjoy the game longer than when they were just getting destroyed before because I personally don't like skill-based skill matchmaking, and it makes the game less fun for me. But that was something that a lot of players complained about was having to fight tryhards and having to fight sweats and not being able to keep up. So skill-based matchmaking in the bot lobbies and the training mode could help with that and make it to where these players have a more enjoyable time playing Fortnite. So that's basically it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I just wanted to update you guys with what is happening with the event. If you guys didn't want to sit and watch a black screen for five hours or whatever, this is basically what has happened with the event. If there's anything else that happens, I'll obviously update you. If the game comes back online, I'll probably be streaming it. So make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, like this video, comment down below what you thought of this update, and I'll see you guys another time. Thanks for watching. I need to hit a shot on him so I get the kill if the one does it. He has to come up here to me.
Let's go, bro. That's Fortnite. 